a very good rider and very safe and had been through much worse places. Over the weekend, this man from Burbank was struck and killed by a car while traveling on San Miguel Canyon Road in Prunedale. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight for KION News at 5. We have details tonight surrounding this accident and the victim, who was Roy Weglin. Friends tell us that he was on a month-long charity ride raising money for the Navajo Nation. KION's Daniel Romero reports. Yeah. Things that, again, we take for granted. It's just basics. That's all it is. So I'm really hoping we can get that done with this ride. Roy Wiegand was a few hundred miles away from completing his 2,500 mile long charity ride when he was hit by a truck Saturday night on San Miguel Canyon Road. You can see Wiegand's bike on the side of the road along with his belongings. According to the California Highway Patrol, the bicyclist was pronounced dead at the scene. He was the most friendliest, positive, giving person anyone could ever meet one of those guys who lights up the room this was not roy's first ride he was a bicyclist who traveled across parts of the west in support of his favorite causes and just every year he chose a cause uh to generate press and raise money this time he was raising money for a navajo water project his goal raising twenty five thousand dollars and bringing clean water and solar power to people in the navajo nation he was only about 300 miles from completing his mission he left burbank and rode towards gallup new mexico and then to flagstaff las vegas uh through death valley to Levining, Yosemite, Tioga Pass, and San Francisco, and then to Santa Cruz. And he was going back to Santa Monica at the end of the ride. His last stop before making the trip back was Santa Cruz. From there, he updated everyone on Facebook saying he was going to ride to King City. It was on his way there that tragedy struck. Santa Cruz is supposed to be the best for bicycling, not the deadliest. Steve Ferguson is a friend of Roy's. He says he was shocked to hear about Roy's death. I'm familiar with that road and it's not my favorite. Um, but there's plenty of cyclists on it and very few problems. According to the CHP, the collision is still under investigation, but drugs and alcohol do not appear to be a factor. Kiyo and Zanya Romero joining us live right now from Prunedale. Despite Roy's death, Zanya, there's also a mission here that appears to continue. And for people watching tonight, there's still a way to help. Well, during this year's ride, Roy raised over $20,000. His goal was $25,000, but like you just said, the mission and the charity work continues. So if you wish to donate to the Navajo Water Project, you can do so by clicking the link that's going to be up on our website later tonight. Veronica, back to you. Thank you, Danya. And Roy, we're told, leaves behind a wife and two children.